Hey guys, this is Kelly with City Slickers Homesteaders. I actually had planned last night to do a video of our community garden, but when we went down there, the road was actually completely flooded from all the rain that we've been having. So we actually couldn't get to the community garden and I actually was like recording it as we were driving down there so I'll add that to the end of this video so you guys can just see see like the destruction down there just at the park from the tornadoes a few weeks ago because we couldn't even get to our community garden until like last week so I figured I'd go ahead and do an update on our home garden kind of show you what's going on here and also figured show you a little bit of our green bean harvest that we'll be doing we've been picking these actually for a couple weeks now we get a good amount of them every so often so and kind of just going through and picking as we find them my husband he's been loving these look at that there's so many in there starting and these plants have actually gotten a lot new, a lot more new growth on them too. And then our volunteer tomatoes, they got so many blooms on them, which is great. Let me see if there's any purple beans so I can show you those. And look, one of our volunteers has a little tomato. So that's exciting, considering that was one we didn't even plant, so I'll have no clue what that is. That's our tree lettuce. It's actually freaking went crazy with all this rain. We went ahead and cut down all of our red romaine and red lettuce, and it's kind of let the colored, colored greens shock up and the tree lettuce. And then our head cabbage will start, or our head lettuce will start growing heads here soon you can see looks like this one's starting and then our cabbage starting to start its little heads here so let me see if I can <laughs> get back here to the purple beans our corn a few that we planted are going crazy so let's see got any purple beans in here got some starting got lots of blooms on there oh wow look at all the blooms on that one getting lots on that here soon oh there's some purple beans look at that volunteer tomatoes that are kind of in the way there okay so I think that's it for the green beans for right now get through our corn jungle here and then I'll show you our new plants so that's horseradish we got those put in buckets and our catnip is bloom is going like crazy now kale is being by eaten by something and these were our littler tomato plants. But here's some of our bigger ones that were gifted to us. Let me find, I know I had a couple. Yeah, here's one. I think this is like a big girl variety. So it's got, little focus there. It's got a little one going. And then these ones, <clears throat> Our uh, jelly bean tomato variety. So they've got some little ones starting there. There's one right here, too. That was our first one we noticed of all of our tomatoes that were starting to come up with starting to produce fruit. We've got lots of flowers on some of these big ones. So those are looking good. I think we're going to get ready to harvest our dill here soon because it's kind of starting to take over our sage plants. 
So if you guys want to see a video on harvesting dill and how we'll dry it, I can make a video on that too. And then all of our little pepper plants, they've got lots of blooms and some of them have some little peppers growing on them too. They're so cute. So yeah, got some good starts on those. These are perked up. These were pretty yellow when we first got them. But the new growth on the top is starting to be a little darker green. So that's good. So, yeah. So just wanted to do a short little update on everything. Since we couldn't do our community garden. So what I'll do is I'll add that little clip at the end of this video. Um... We do say the S word at the end, so if you've got kids that you don't want to hear that, don't let them watch the end of the video, but just because we were in complete shock, like, oh my gosh, how did, how did that happen? So, okay, so I will end this here, and I'll add that clip on to the end, so make sure to like and subscribe and share our videos. Thanks, guys. Welcome back, guys. This is Kelly with City Slickers Homesteads homesteaders so we are actually heading to our community garden and this is pretty much why the park was closed for two weeks after the tornadoes and why we couldn't get down to our garden until last week so we're not even back to it yet but this is just some of the damage Oh no, it is oh, all shit. flooded. No, oh that shit. Sucks. Yeah, we're not even gonna be able to get back here. Jeez. Wow. Uh, well that's what used to be a tree line. That's our community garden down there. As you can see we can't get to it because of all the rain that we've had.